What's up guys, Jordan here, and as you probably already know, just a few days ago, Apple released Mac OS Align, which is the latest installment of the Mac operating system. Now, today I'm going to be showing you the top seven hidden features within Align, and you may be saying, well, why seven? That's kind of an interesting number to pick. Well, because Align is actually Mac OS 10.7. Uh, but um, anyways, uh, these hidden features are still really awesome, useful features. They just haven't received quite as much publicity as some of the bigger name features like Mission Control and Launchpad. But anyways, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in to the countdown. Now, starting off at number seven, we have cool animations. And some of these animations were pretty heavily publicized, such as this kind of rubber bandish quality of the pages in Safari. But one that wasn't publicized at all is this really cool page flip feature in iCal. As you can see, you just flick from side to side on your magic mouse or magic trackpad and you get that cool page flip that is so familiar to us from iOS. Now at number six, we have different wallpapers for each desktop. So all you need to do is open up System Preferences, go under Desktop and select a new wallpaper. Then drag System Preferences into another desktop and select another wallpaper. Then drag System Preferences into yet another desktop and select yet another different wallpaper. And as you're seeing, the wallpaper is only changing for the specific desktop that we're in currently. It doesn't change any of the other ones, allowing us to have different wallpapers for each individual desktop. Now at number five, we have new file arrangements in the Finder. Now, it still gives you the same traditional ways of arranging your content, but when you select one, it actually splits it up a little bit differently. As you can see here, it clearly divides up what type of content it is, and then it puts it in almost this kind of mini cover flow mode, which is a very clever way of organizing the content, and I will definitely be using this feature a lot. Now, coming in at number four, we have auto correction, and this is definitely a feature coming straight from iOS. As you can see here, I misspelled this word, but it doesn't actually automatically correct it. You have to hit backspace and then select the correct word with the arrow keys or with the mouse, and then other times it will automatically correct it. But this is definitely a very useful feature in Lion. Now, starting off the top three, we have Quick View Everywhere. And pretty much any place in Lion where it possibly makes sense to have Quick View, Quick View is going to be there. So as you can see, uh, the Quick View is now within Stacks. So you can view documents and pictures, and you can actually scroll through full presentations all within Quick View within your stack. And Quick View is also within Spotlight, which brings us up to our number two hidden feature which is viewing web pages in Spotlight. So as you can see here, I searched for a recent web page that I visited and to get a quick view to work within Spotlight, you just hover over the result and the page automatically begins to load and the video actually begins to play. So I can actually pause and play the content, move the playhead, actually interact with the video all within the quick view. But if I do click on any links within this quick view of the website, it does take me into a web browser, but definitely a cool way to check out previous websites that you visited. So here we are at the number one hidden feature within Lion, which is the interactive iTunes artwork screensaver. So the first thing you need to do is go under screensaver under system preferences and select iTunes artwork as your screensaver. Now when the screensaver starts up, you'll notice that when you move your mouse, it doesn't actually end, but the album artwork actually pops up and you get this nice little play button over each one. And you, if you hit the play button, you'll see that the music actually begins to play and you can go ahead around and play different songs and this is really just an awesome way of interacting with your music. But if you want to close out the screensaver, just hit the exit a button in the bottom right hand corner and your music actually will still continue to play. So those are the top seven hidden features within Lion, but if you guys want to check out all 250 plus new features that are included with Lion, be sure to check out this webpage on Apple's website. The link is down below. But guys, thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite new hidden feature within Lion is, or maybe your just favorite feature in general. Also, be sure to subscribe up above to be notified when I upload a couple more new uh, Lion videos in the real near future. Also, be sure to like and favorite this video if it helped you out. And if you enjoyed it, that's greatly appreciated. And guys, hopefully I'll see you in my next video real soon. Thanks for watching.